What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here, we are back with another manga video. Now today's video, as you can see from the title, I am going to be talking about the manga series Black Clover. Now I know that this series does have an anime, and I have seen some of the animated fights on Twitch, and I reacted to them, and I think it was a pretty good time. Honestly, I think some of the fights were really well choreographed, especially when it came to the post time skip fight, which I won't spoil in this video. I'm trying not to give spoils, but at some point I'm going to give a spoil. So at the beginning of this video, I'm going to give you the non-spoiler uh, view of how I think about Black Clover, but later on I might give you some of my favorite scenes and some of my favorite arcs and things like that. But initially my history with Black Clover is, I remember watching it about three, four years ago at the time of me recording this, obviously, and I remember I watched about eight to 15 episodes when they got into their first dungeon, and I thought to myself, this is just like Naruto, but he's really, really loud. So I ended up dropping the series and I never really thought to go back to it. I was one of those people that actually was hating on Black Clover that, you know, talk crap about it without actually knowing what the series was about or what the series really got into. But a few months ago, my boy Cozy and Big Blue from my Discord server, gotta say shout out to them because... Ooh, they put me on some heat. But before we get into the video, before we get into my thoughts of Black Clover, I gotta say shout out to my Patreon pledgers for going ahead and financially supporting the channel. I gotta say I highly appreciate what you guys are doing for me. And I gotta say that you guys are really holding me down over there on Patreon. So I gotta say thank you guys for all the financial support that you guys are giving me over there. You guys deserve the biggest Dark Sage hug that I can give you. And if you want your name shown on this beautiful screen, go ahead and check the Patreon and the link in the description down below. Secondly, I gotta give a shout out to Broke Boy Gang, aka Notification Squad, because they saw the video, they already clicked on it, they already liked it before the video even started. They probably clicked it while the ad was going and they probably about to share this video after they get done watching it themselves but if you're not part of broke World gang and if you want to be go ahead fix that for me right now subscribe hit the post notification bell like the video and share the content in fact share with people who are hating on black clover because this video might win them over i don't know it might not because i'm not really you know i'm not really good at articulating my words like that but if you see that i really love black clover you see my passion for it it might, it might persuade you to actually get into it and lastly if you have not already go ahead follow me on all my other social medias where you can actually talk to me one-on-one -on -one about black clover or you can join my discord where we can actually talk about black clover in the anime section of my discord and my discord you can talk about plenty of things in there so there's something for everybody in there so all links will be in the description down below so let's go ahead and get into it so a few months ago i actually started black clover and i actually read about three chapters on my twitch stream and i thought to myself uh, it's still a little shaky it doesn't have its own footing yet to me honestly black clover just wasn't there on its own yet it didn't have a name for itself at that time especially with three chapters and i know three chapters isn't really a lot but to me especially since i already seen that part in the actual anime itself i thought to myself what am i really going to get from this series but nonetheless this series must be good considering that some people consider it in the new big three and it actually has a plenty good amount of chapters and volumes in stores in fact i don't think i really ever see volumes sell out except for obviously right now volumes two and eight which i don't know why those volumes are sold out but i really need them for the collection but i went along with the series with my usual 10 chapter a day rule and if you don't know what my 10 chapter a day rule is it's basically you read 10 chapters of a series a day and eventually you will be caught up just like with series like one piece while it is over a thousand chapters as i'm recording this video there's no telling two three years from now it could be over two thousand i don't know how that math would add up but it could <laughs> ever be like that but if you were to read 10 chapters a day of a series like black clover which only has 289 chapters right now you will literally be done with black clover within the month that you actually started which means you'll probably finish it between 28 to 29 days so with that 10 chapter rule in effect I, I i had to start it i had to start it and obviously when it comes to some reading uh points that you have in your day you tend to read more than 10 chapters and definitely black clover got me into that rhythm because man when it got into the thick of it it really got into the thick of it and i'm talking two seasons thick of it you know what i'm saying so initially black clover is about this kid who was born into a world of magic without magic sounds pretty familiar well obviously it's from series like my hero academia where a quirkless kid is born to a world where everybody basically has quirks now i'm not saying that one copy the other but you can see with a lot of shonen jump titles it does have that trope of you gotta root for the underdog or you get the underdog character and this character works hard to become one of the strongest people in that verse and obviously we have the character of asta who i think is a pretty good shonen jump mc now when it comes to shonen jump mcs i got a lot of them in my goat category which some are goku obviously because he is definitely an og yusuke who was part of the pull up gang luffy who is definitely the pull up god himself and joseph joestar personally one of my favorite shonen jump mcs now characters like asa they don't really stray from the norm itself where you know you have this character who's overly optimistic who wants to you know be good just to be good things like that and you know has a harder upbringing in life and surrounds himself with friends who he considers family like i said this doesn't really stray from the typical shonen jump like formula that they have but guys if you really do like shonen jump 
you're really gonna love this series. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of the Shonen like aspects of this series, I think that this series excels well when it comes to the Shonen Jump aspect. Now, obviously this series is not targeted for really, you know, old or adults or things like that. It's not really a mature series. If you like things like One Piece, My Hero Academia, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, if you like Battle Shonen manga, you will like Black Clover. And especially with the character of Asta, where you just have no choice but to root for this character because you know exactly what he's going through. You see all these people with these amazing magical abilities, which I think are really phenomenal, especially when it comes to the action scenes with some of the magic. I'm just, I'm just saying it right now. Some of the battles, whoo. But you kind of have to root for Asta because you see where he's coming from. You see how he looks at the world. And honestly, he's one of those characters, while he is growing, he does change the world around him himself. So he is basically a proactive character. He's not really too much of a reactive character, but he's a proactive character. But he also changes the people around him that he interacts with. And my boy Asta, he, he got the girls. He got the ladies. Like, come on. I don't see any other Shonen Jump MC really pulling ladies like him. Like, let's be real. When I look at My Hero Academia and I see Deku, this boy be crying because he can't get Ochako's number. My boy Asta already pulled like three or four girls and he not even trying he not even aiming for him he really wants the sister but the sister don't really pay him no mind and you know that's how i usually go with the love triangle you got that one character that you know you trying to aim for but you can't really get it I'm, I'm going off topic i'm sorry but like i was saying about black clover i really do enjoy the series especially when it comes to the fight now when it comes to asta fighting people with magic abilities I gotta say that when Asta fights, it is in a very creative way. Sometimes he just wants to go around swinging his sword, which, you know, I don't mind. I do like people just, you know, pulling up, wanting to fight, wanting to action. Just like my character, Luck, which I really do like Luck. Luck is my boy. Which also leads me into... Oh, I'm going too far. <laughs> but like I was saying, when it comes to actual fighting scenes with Asta, and I gotta say, I really, really love it. And these two points that I'm about to talk about actually intertwine with each other when it comes to fights and some of the characters. And I gotta say, the cast of characters with the Black Bulls, I gotta say that I really, really enjoy them. I really love them. They're all characters who are unique in themselves. I actually grew to actually love the whole cast. I didn't think I would remember all their names because it's usually hard for me to remember a lot of characters' names within the series. But I remember every single character in the Black Bulls. And I gotta say, I love them all differently, except for Gordon. Gordon, he kind of weird. But I mean, he's meant to be weird. I even like Gouch, who is a sister-loving brother. And that sounds nasty <laughs> when you say it. That actually sounded nasty when I when I came out of my mouth. But it's nasty. But Gouch is a pretty cool, especially with his magic abilities with that mirror. Oh my gosh, when he uses that mirror to fight, and when he, oh my gosh, let me, let me, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop, I'm, I'm getting too excited. But, 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 like I was saying, like I was talking about the fights with Asta and some of the characters in the cast of the Black Bulls, I gotta say that these two things right here, they intertwine well. I really, really love what this series does with its characters and with its fights. Now, usually when it comes to actual shonen battle manga or shonen jump battle manga, now usually in certain titles like One Piece, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, or Dragon Ball Z, you usually see the characters fight one-on-one. -on -one. And while fighting one-on-one -on -one is cool, it kind of gets stagnant a little while. But in Black Clover, the actual team itself fights as a team, depending on who all goes in that squad to a mission and things like that, which I really, really do enjoy. I kind of miss that aspect when it comes to actual battles, because I love it when someone magicless like Asta teams up with someone who has magic in his team, and you know, everybody in that team definitely has different types of magic, so when he does actually kind of team up with these characters, and they actually have that fight, oh my gosh, I'm trying to tell you, the unique battles that they have in Black Clover. I really enjoyed them. I enjoyed all the fights in Black Clover. Now to me, the actual manga itself, when the fights really excelled is when Asta started getting his demon form, which guys is gonna be the point where I stop talking non-spoiler talk because honestly, I, I can't stop. I can't stop. Obviously, you guys know that he has a demon form because if you have played Jump Force, he has a demon form. So right here, I'm stopping right here. This is the non-spoiler part of the review. Go ahead, check it out. I definitely recommend Black Clover if you do like Shonen Jump Battle Manga. So like I said, this is about to start getting into some spoiler territory. So if you don't want to get spoiled, go ahead, dip the video, tell me what you think, or tell me if you're going to start reading Black Clover, or tell me if you've already been reading Black Clover. Now it's time to get into some of the spoiler talk. Like I said previously, I am fully caught up with Black Clover and I had to get that I had to get the non-spoiler talk out of the way because it's time for me to talk some battles now my favorite battle so far in Black Clover Asta and Yami I'm telling you that fight right there I had to watch that animated on Twitch and oh my gosh that fight right there. I thought the uniqueness and creativity within that fight was so, so awesome. Especially with Asta post time skip when he looks like a tree stump. Because I always call him a tree stump because he's still short. He's still bulky. So he looks like a tree stump to me a little bit. But that fight with Asta and Yami against Dante in the Dark Triad. Oh my gosh. 
I'm telling you, that fight was phenomenal. Especially when my boy Yami threw that sword to Asta. I was like, yo. It, it can't get any better than this. It can't get any better than this. And, and, and it did. It did get better than that. When Asta did that dark slash, I'm like, oh. Oh, you go ahead and just say it's our magic if you want to, Asta. And then there are other great moments when you see characters like Lieb or the demon or devil that is inside Asta when they actually have their own fight and when Asta is actually relating to Lieb. And I got to say, I really enjoyed that. And you get some of Lieb's backstory, which has Asta's mom in it. I was like, yo, 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 they, they, they put the pieces all together. And then you get introduced to even more characters in the series, like characters like Zora, the vice captain of the Black Bulls. I'm like, man. And then the elf reincarnation arc. While it is the longest arc in this manga so far, I really enjoyed it. It feels like this series is just straight pull up every single arc. Like the pacing in the manga is great to me. Honestly, there's not a lot of talking. You get what they're talking about. The Wizard King is a dope character. A lot of the other captains of Magic Knights, they're dope characters. And some of the supporting cast itself, they have dope characters. You're gonna have a favorite character in Black Clover. You can't come out of Black Clover without a favorite character. And one of my favorite characters, top five, top five, it's actually a woman character. Now, it's really rare for me to actually like women in Shonen Jump manga. Now, I'm not saying like I'm a sexist or anything like that, but when it comes to actual women characters in Shonen Jump battle manga, let's be real. Which ones are, are strong? Sakura? You gonna say Sakura? Really? Chi Chi Boma? Those are waifus, but they're not strong characters. Now, when I talk about strong women characters within an anime slash manga series, and that are put actually in the forefront and have some great anime battles or great manga battles in general, Noelle is dope. Noelle is dope. I like Noelle. I like Charmy. There's something endearing about Charmy. I don't know what I love about Charmy. Miss Vanessa, the way that she pulls up for Asta, I like that as well. But I gotta talk about my favorite lady character, the waifu. And I'll let this woman step on me if she wants to. No consent. She can step on me whether she wanted to or not. And I gotta talk about Lady Vermilion. Oh, <laughs> Lady Vermilion? You you can't tell me that that's not a raw character. <laughs> Lady Rebellion, when she gets into the fights, I'm not gonna lie, she be going ham, especially with her firepowers. Oh my gosh, the Vermilion family itself? Oh my gosh, every single battle that they have, I really, really love them. And after I have to talk about some of my favorite characters, which was Lady Vermilion, who was <clears throat> waifu, I have to talk about one of my favorite arcs within Black Clover, which was the tournament arc. And that tournament arc, I did not expect to love it as much as I did, but man, when that tournament arc threw down, that tournament arc threw down. To me, that's one of the best Shonen tournament arcs that we have had in a long while, considering all the Shonen tournament arcs that we've gotten in the newer generation. Now, this arc was straight pull-up, it has some emotional aspects, and it has some character development that I really, really enjoyed. Especially, I gotta talk about my favorite manga panel. Even though I can't show it, I gotta talk about my favorite scene, I guess, and that's when Fenrir's little brother, right, was about to kill him. Langris was really about to kill Fenrir, his big brother. But then you see the Black Bulls pull up. You see the Black Bulls pull up. You see Asta, you see Magna, and you see Luck all just around Langris. And they're like, yo, the fight's over. We'll kill you right here and there. And that's what I knew. That's what I knew. Black Bulls, one of my favorite anime slash manga series crews. I'm sorry. I love the Black Bulls. They ride and die for each other. You see that time and time again in the Black Clover series. I'm just, oh my gosh. I did not think I would talk about Black Clover like this. Honestly to me, Black Clover is one of the better Shonen Jump manga series that is out right now when it comes to battle series. Now, as you guys know who I am, I do love my battle series as you can see from this manga wall right here. So I gotta say when it comes to Black Clover, I am a big fan of Black Clover now. I need more Black Clover merch. I need some more of it because the way that some of the characters pull up, especially Yami, oh my gosh. Now Yami isn't a pull up guy because he was playing in that one arc, but when he actually instilled that saying to Asta, push past your limits, and that's basically the Black Bull saying, push past your limits, I thought it was gonna be super corny at first. And I'm not gonna lie, I was like, yo, this saying is kind of a little corny. But when they actually started applying that within the battles, Oh my gosh, Push Past Your Limits. That's one of my new favorite Shonen sayings. It's one of my new favorite Shonen sayings. Push Past Your Limits, such a simple phrase, when you actually apply it, oh my God. I'm just, I'm just, I, I gotta stop right here, guys. 
because I'm, I'm tearing up a little bit from the passion that I'm having of talking about Black Clover right now because Black Clover is such an amazing Shonen Jump battle manga and I did not expect to love it as much as I do now like I am reading it weekly now I've read 289 chapters so far can't wait for chapter 290 hopefully by the time this video goes out maybe 290 will be out I don't know but guys if you have not already which if I don't know why you be this far in the video if you haven't watched it go ahead and check out black clover i definitely got to rank black clover a good 8 to 8.5 now it's not perfect i'm not saying it does anything to reinvigorate the wheel of shonen it doesn't do anything like that but what it does excel at is being a shonen and i love my shonen battle mangas but yeah guys that's about it for my black clover review slash my black clover thoughts whatever you want to call this we had the non-spoiler review then we had the spoiler thoughts and all that and i gotta say if you guys want to talk about that in the comment section down below please do not say anything like really really spoilerish for those who have not seen it because you don't know someone a year from now could be watching this video and they never seen black clover so you never know what might happen but guys thank you guys for watching if you are new to the channel and you have not already Go ahead, like the video, share the video, hit the comment section, that way you could talk some Black Clover with me. Or if you wanna talk Black Clover with me outside of YouTube, go ahead, follow me on all my other socials. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and hit the post notification bell, that way you know whenever I'm talking newer and doper content and just showing you doper things. But guys, I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out, peace.